Going down the rabbit hole. Part two. How to become a better actor. I mean, the evidence is there. The clues are just there. Fans of movies will watch DVD commentary. Will watch behind the scenes. Will watch uncut footage, cut scenes. So I'm just talking about that. Uh, in another section, I'll talk about interviews. So it's all there on DVD. Why would you want to watch DVD commentary? Well, sometimes if it's the director talking along with the actor, they'll talk about the audition process and the selection process and they'll talk about other things like location and they'll talk about, oh, I, I love this actor because he came in with X energy or even silly things like he auditioned with this shirt and we knew we had to cast him. Just gives you an insight as to what directors are looking for. And if the actor is also there talking about their audition process or what they experienced during the audition, then that's even more insight as to how to prepare for an audition. And there's a whole argument about going method, whole argument about um, that kind of thing. But in terms of DVD commentary, what you're what you're watching out for is you've watched the movie, all right? You know the movie in and out, but with the, the DVD commentary, they're going to give you insight. The director, producer sometimes, sometimes even casting director is going to give you insight as to the whole process during the shoot and sometimes even before the shoot. Before the shoot is what you want to listen out for because that's the interesting part on how to prepare. And during the shoot, is the interesting part on like, oh, I decided to ad-lib this in one take and then we kept it in the movie. That kind of stuff is interesting because then it sees you, their process, and then they might even say th things like, oh, this took 40 takes and I think this is take number 28 or something, right? So as an actor, that gives you insight as to how you need to prepare. You need to prepare for 40 takes for some directors, right? So you need to imagine yourself doing this in and out, in and out, same repetition, because that's what makes you better. And it's not that the, on that particular take that it was wrong, quote unquote, just that for the overall arc of the piece, the movie, the story arc, that particular take didn't fit with before, after, and the whole entire piece. And they can only recognize that in the edit bay, in post. So you may be frustrated as an actor, as a new actor, doing take after take after take. But what you don't realize is they need that footage in, in, in post edit, in the post. Because the overall arc of the story may change in the edit, uh, as it's been documented in various movies. None of them come to mind now, but... I'm sure you can find information about that. So that is invaluable to your skill of understanding what it is to be an actor, is listening to DVD commentary. And maybe you don't even have the DVD, but you can actually find just the DVD commentary. If you search for your favorite film, DVD commentary, promise you, you'll be able to find something and then, how much is a DVD? Like five bucks, right? Second hand, it will still have a DVD commentary on it. That's part of your learning. That's part of what you do outside of class, outside of being on set, outside of being on stage. You, you need to formulate that and believe that, should I be in that position, I'm gonna be ready for that. So that's with DVD commentary, moving on to BTS or behind the scenes. Behind the scenes will be things like EPK, the extra footage, the the funny interviews they have uh, in between setups, where they'll talk about, again, the process of auditioning, perhaps, of selecting, of casting. And you're looking for that one piece of information that's going to help you 
on your way to becoming a better actor. And then I've got here uncut footage. Why you want to look at uncut footage is because you want to imagine, should that have been in the final piece, how much of a difference the story would have changed. And you as an actor, depending on your level, should realize that that had that been included in the final piece, the whole story would change. That's why it was cut. One of the reasons, possibly. And I've got here cut scenes as well. So in the addition of more, more scenes, you need to think about pacing. Well, not you yourself, but the director slash editor needs to think about pacing. So that's how, without practicing acting by yourself, you can become a better actor by observing DVD commentary, behind the scenes, uncut footage, cut scenes. How do you find this? Come on. Where do you think you're watching this video? You just search for your favorite movie, the title, behind the scenes, uncut footage, cut scenes, DVD commentary. It's that simple. And you go down that rabbit hole and you, you observe, you search for what you need to search for. All right.